Uh, hello everybody and this here in this video I want to share the process of creating the initial sketch of the round cruiser that I made for the tutorial of scaling sci-fi. In the tutorial itself I made a cleaner version of the sketch and textured it as well. And I've started just you know with the circle and using the move tool to push stuff out and then playing with different alphas. I don't like the dish. Oh, I guess I didn't like the dish. And I'm ignoring the back faces right now, so it moves everything up in both directions. There we go. I got this uh, protrusion. Now I cut everything out, pressing my shift key and walk to hide. And unhide and stuff. So right now I'm not sure what I want to do here. Really playing with a with some shapes and ideas. I already looked at the shoe crap, so I had that idea. And I thought maybe if I make it longer, it will be more interesting. So I'm cutting everything out again. You can see here me hesitating a fair amount of time, and I actually really like this cut. I have a lot of interchanging shapes, especially the back. The back is nice. So then I throw a few, few holes. Use a pose tool, play with that. You want to use the pose tool for the entrance spots, but. Then switch to the voxel height and with the on plane distance. I'm doing this almost like channels across uh, the ship and then unhiding them. So I don't want them to be too connected. If they have too much connection, it feels almost forced. In real life, uh, the seams between different panels can be of different size, and uh, you will see some type of patterns like that. The difference with the final design that I started out, I wanted to have more finer detail. So here, the detail that came out was a little bit too harsh, too crude. So I upped the resolution. Everything got a little bit smooth because the resolution went up. The back part, it's hard to get it sharp. I think still the resolution is not there yet. And I was thinking to add some elements here. So I'm just using this sphere tool to um, like add a, those hemispheres. But just hemispheres, it's hard to make them work in a contemporary design. Always, when you use circles like that, spheres like that, you make it look quite a bit old school, like an old school uh, Star Wars design shape. And while Star Wars are good as a universe, there are still a lot of uh, some you know, d design of like space elements have has moved on as well. Did a little cut in the middle. I'm just trying to evaluate the design if it was good or not. And obviously now I'm unhiding too much. Also did did a voxel hide operation then and, and hid it from the top. I'm trying to unhide certain bits. I 
I wanted to re rebuild the disc around a uh, bit of a change, a bit of a difference from with the final design. I didn't do that. And the whole sketch, just, this one was a bit longer because the shape is harder as well to deal with, a bit more technical. So it took about 30 to 40 minutes to do this guy as a sketch. So it's a bit more time consuming. In a way, you can't get carried away. I would say this was a much more detailed sketch than Cargo Hollow and uh, more detailed sketch than the Mothership. I'm trying to solve the engines, how many I want to have, what type of shape. So I just split it, split it out, and I decided that okay, let's try with the multiple, and it'll good, especially since the idea is for it to be more of a tactical cruiser, to have like fast, agile engines, have a lot of redundancy, right? So one engine goes out, they have five more. Quickly add in a bit of gribble. Try an idea so the voxel high front. It felt very organic to elongate the corners with the larger, longer antenna. Now it turns in the front. And I'll so yeah, use the post tool to change the shape of antennas. And try to make it a bit thinner using the voxel height tool. Those antennas are so thin now that if I smooth it or resample the shape, it will, they will disappear. Really wanted to use a postal and, and to introduce an element using the postal because this is where you want to use it on a curved surface. Otherwise, the blob might be better or voxel height might be better. But those segmentations didn't work out. Didn't look good enough. I look a bit primitive, really. So I decided to go a bit more like to the sides and I thought that the circles will make sense. That could also be a part of a style, the shipbuilding style. It can create a whole other bunch of uh, shelled ships where you have this outside shell with some circles 
uh, and then the inside part that doesn't uh, be filled with detail and the shape can be any kind it can be a potato shape it can be I don't know a smooth triangle smooth cone or, uh, really anything you want just the style is all about having a smooth shell outside and uh, a bunch of details on the inside with some circular shapes dotted around the body that's uh, good enough really for creating a new race a new style of of the ships Again, uh, antennas are a really easy and cheap way to add realism to the ship. I'm starting to think about segmentation. Too. And first I split up some major part and then I do other splits. So now we get this nice intersection of different panels. Trying to get the right, right bit, right cut. So it's here, I did what I was talking about. I want to split individual elements, and then I can use the split tool and cut it all. I like how it's picking up on the side with a split. I have a split on plane on, that's why it doesn't go through the whole body. And that's really essentially the sketch for, for the round cruiser. There's a few more segments and proportion checking. This is really pretty much the end of the design. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And if you're curious about the whole process, uh, the link to the tutorial is in the description.